Welcome back. You know, uh, the whole LeBron James thing, I alluded to it at the beginning. Guy is making some inordinate amount of money. Is able to basically hijack ESPN for an hour so they can speculate first about where he's going to go, who he's going to pick, what team he's going to play with. He announces it, and they spend another 20 minutes discussing the ramifications of it. He's making huge amounts of money. Another case in point, so also from this week, the stars of the Twilight series, Pattinson, Stewart, and uh, Lautner. They are each going to make $25 million for the next installment. Forget what they made for the first three. $25 million for the next one. Can somebody tell me why they're worth $25 million? There's monetary reasons, trust me. Why, do, why did A-Rod get $250 million for 10 years, $25 million a year? Why are they getting $25 million for their next picture? Because somebody decided that they got to make sure they have that one there, and somehow they'll make the money back. And that's the part that really has me just ticked off. Because the way they're going to get it paid back is you and me. When you go to the movies and it costs you $15 practically to get in the door by the time you buy concessions and sit down, you've spent 50 bucks for a, for a couple. 40 to 50 bucks to go to the movies for two hours in the dark. And it ain't under the covers. 50 bucks for a movie date. Ain't a cheap date to take a date to the movies anymore. Go to almost any sporting event anymore. With rare exceptions, baseball being one of them, if you get the cheap seats in baseball, you still might be able to get in for five to ten bucks on the right nights. But for the most part, you're going to pay anywhere from 25 to 100 to 300 dollars for a seat you like. I don't care whether it's hockey, baseball, basketball, football. doesn't matter. The prices are through the roof. Oh, and they'll entice you with these special little plans where, hey, we'll pay for your parking. We'll even pay for hot dogs and a soda for all of you. The hot dog and the soda cost them maybe a buck. Parking? It really doesn't cost them anything. It's just a revenue generator. So they're giving you something that's got a value of a buck to a buck and a half to make you think that, hey, you're saving money because they overpriced the dogs at $6 a piece and the sodas are 4 or $5 a piece. Yeah, you're going to save, your family of four is going to save $40 on that game. It cost them 6 you're not saving anything. But the main reason is because of what these people are being paid. Sporting events, the, the, the professional teams. You know, Terry and I were just talking here about you know, the Yankees. They basically try to buy themselves into the playoffs every year and fairly successful at doing it. Meanwhile, prices just keep going up and up it up. And what used to be a fun outing now requires a second mortgage on your home and blood samples. It's absolutely ridiculous. And unfortunately, I don't think it's ever going to stop. Because the only way it's going to stop is when people stop paying for it. Baseball almost died when they went on strike for, you guessed it, money. 
the strike exactly wasn't exactly what almost killed them. It was the fact that they ticked off so many fans. It took them years to recover. And yet, it's still about the money. Maybe the fans should go on strike. Maybe we should say, you know what? We're not going to go to a game if you're going to keep paying this. But they'll sell the rights on TV, and yeah, they make money there. And they'll sell the memorabilia. Yeah, they'll sell all the licensed goods. And continue to jack the rates up for us to go see a game. Or to go watch a movie. I don't blame players. I don't blame the actors. I even don't blame any of their agents. Look, if you can go make the money, go make it. Don't expect that I'm going to pay for it. You got the right to make it. I got the right to keep it in my pocket. The ones we got to blame are the people who are at the bottom line looking at it as I can pay him enough and charge them more. That's who's really to blame in this. In the end, is what they're producing worth that kind of money? Just this next Twilight movie alone is going to have to gross $75 million just to pay the three main actors. How much more is it going to have to gross to pay for the movie? $100 million, $200 million more? So it'll have a record-setting weekend in which it doesn't break even. What exactly are they producing that's worth that much money? It isn't something I can see. Probably not something that you can see. So, we need to make decisions about how we spend our money if these folks are just going to continue to soak more and more of it up. Here's a better idea. Why don't we start figuring out how to pay educators that money? How about we figure out how to pay our armed forces more money for laying their lives on the line? You got a guy who plays, what is it, 82 games a year? And he's going to make $25 million. And the closest he's going to have to deal with is the tabloids talking about him and Madonna. There's his danger. We got people overseas in true danger who won't make a fraction of that money in their lifetime. We have the teachers who are educating our kids every single day who will never see that kind of money. We have police officers, firemen, who will never see that kind of money. Something tells me our priorities are a little off on this one. We'll be right back. Thank you.